YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite boy, Lucky. Guys, guess what? I have good news. Yes, you're right. I have a new job. Last week, I was here, mad, angry, but grateful that I lost my old job. And now this week, I'm back. It's like a testimony, okay? I'm testifying that I have a new job. Great, I'm grateful. It, it feels it was awesome, you understand, right? Like, you lost a job in a few days and now you got another one, you understand, right? Whew! I'm really, really happy. Now, you probably wonder, like, okay, you have a new job, so, like, why are you telling us that, you understand, right? Guys, it's simple. There's a story behind this job, and I feel like I want to share it with you guys. Because this job is not an ordinary job. Okay, first, Story, story Squad. This is where I work, okay? I just came out from work. Shout out to um, Story Squad. Shout out to Will. You're the boss. Best boss ever. So, I lost my old job last week. I was jobless and then, um, Story Squad has always been my back, like my backbone. So whenever I'm like in need, I need some hours. I need, a, I know a friend that's jobless. I just um, refer him or her to Story Squad and Will, the boss, always like hooks me up. You understand, right? So I'm forever grateful to that guy. And now the same thing happened to me. I lost my job and I, I called him. I'm like, mm, boss, I need some few hours. He was like, yeah, sure, man. You can help me whenever you want. This is... Story Squad is always your home. I used to work for Story Squad. <laughs> I used to work for them um, like two years ago. So I started working with them for two years. And while I was in school, and then I loved the job so much. It was like one of those dream jobs. The pay was high and everything, okay? And it was like, it just, the family felt really, really good. So I started working with them. You understand, right? Like two years ago. And then after graduation, I had, um, I had separate plans. Like, not plan like, to lift them but I wanted to you know go into the fitness world as you guys already know and I felt like because it's a uh, storage and move out so you know storing and lifting and all that I felt like it was I still go to the gym every day so it, it, it was like too much for me understand like lifting all those boxes and then going back to the gym later on you know all that stuff you understand right so I felt like it was too much for me so I kind of I kind of like low-key got a lift job and just squid it you understand right like, even if I didn't tell the tell my boss that I'm quitting. I just like, you know, oh, I won't be available, I won't be available, I won't be available. And then, like, all of a sudden, it just died, you understand? That was how it died off. Now, mm, I lost my old job. I'm back to Story Squad. I'm still lifting weights. I'm still making videos. Like, what is not possible? Everything is possible, guys. Like, this is like the message I'm trying to spread across here because I never thought I could be able to like keep the same schedule you understand right like because I felt like lift was very flexible for me so I just was comfortable in it but I discovered that life life does not want me to get comfortable life wants me to get comfortable being uncomfortable you understand right so yes this job is something that is very very hard and Required a lot of lifting, but trust me I do this job I still go to the gym and still train and it's even easier because now I I kind of like, I train less time now. I spend less time in the gym, so my intensity rate is high. And also from doing my job, I still like lose calories and still build muscle. It's, it's really, it's, I don't really know what I'm trying to say here, but the thing is, um, I'm trying to let you know that anything is possible, you understand, right? Because you do a 9 to 5, now I'm doing a 9 to 5. I hate 9 to 5, guys. I told you guys I hate 9 to 5 because I feel like it will never work with me, you understand, right? But now I'm doing a 9 to 5. And I'm still doing my gym. So if you're doing a 9 to 5 and you think like, oh, I come back home too late to go to the gym. Trust me, if you're sitting in an office, it's different from lifting boxes and moving out stuff. You understand, right? I literally um, use my muscles at work and I still come back and go to the gym. So that's not an excuse. You understand, right? Like, you can do it. Like, you just have to put your... Put your priorities first, so like then now I know I wake up first in the morning, I go to the gym, and then, I mean I go to work immediately after work. I'm going to the gym and and then back, and I'm doing stuff, and I'm doing everything I want to do. Like I don't even know how this is possible. You understand, right? And now to a sense, I'm kind of like grateful for the uh, fact that I lost the other job because now I am. I feel like I just grew overnight, like because I'm now doing 
what I never thought I could be able to do. And trust me, if I had, if I knew this was possible, okay, and I've been where I was, like story scored all this time, I would have been in a better position right now because they fucking love me and I love the job, you understand, right, boy? It just, I just kind of like felt like, oh, this is not going to be possible. I can't do it. So I left them. But now, guys, trust me, they just, they, they're my hope. They gave me hope when I was hopeless. Like, they just, they saved my ass. And even at that, I'm still doing what, that's like, this is like the best part, okay? They saved my ass, and at the same time, I am still doing what I want to do. Like, so guys, what is, what is not possible? Like, what is not possible? You can do anything you want to do. Like, yes, I was making excuses and saying I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, but now I'm doing it. And if I can do it, guys, you can do it. You understand, right? So that job that you think is too hard for you to do because of this, guys, I know Trust me, this is not where I want to be, okay, but I don't know what life, I don't know God's plan for me, you understand? Maybe my plan is to be somewhere else, but I don't know what God's plans are for me, you understand, right? But right now, I am here, and I'm going to make the most out of it, you understand, right? So, um, don't just quit on, don't just say, oh, it's not possible, and just walk away from anything you're doing, you understand, right? Sometimes, it's good to have patience, and I don't know, but um, I just wanted to share the good news with you guys that I got a new job, and also tell you guys that anything is possible as long as you put your mind to it it's possible like if I can do a job that I never thought I could do 9 to 5 and I hate 9 to 5 but I'm doing it and I'm still filming I'm still doing my workout videos and shit like that like my time is even I have more time in my hands than when I drive lift like after this I'm going to shoot a workout video like I've been posting videos every single week it feels amazing it feels awesome okay so guys that thing you think you cannot do Go give it a shot, okay? You can. Just try to well, try to organize yourself, you understand, right? You can do this. You got it. So, real easy. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate y'all. Love you guys to the moon and back. Shout out to Story Score for hooking me with the job. And I will see you guys on the next episode. And don't forget, guys, to subscribe to the channel. Like, comment and share okay so that's it have a beautiful day peace